well, here we are again. That's our favourite place. Uh, if you recall in uh, Sunday's episode, we asked for your opinion. Had we done enough? Do we need to do more? And we got a lot of opinions, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> good, all good. Uh, all good, yeah. Some suggestions. Uh, should we paint the strips, these two strips on the roof? Um, and if so, what colour? Should we paint the hook? Uh, have we put enough gold on? Have we put too much gold on? And we had all sorts of opinions. And so we've come to a decision. Yeah. Yep. But you're going to have to watch to the end of this episode before you find out what that decision is. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the little haul we got at Emu's, our local charity shop. Uh, this is going in the bathroom. And we got these little individual pots for starters or something like that. Um, a little bucket which I thought sweets would look nice in. It's silver plated I think. And a nice bucket and some little silver tongs which I need to clean up. But they have got a hallmark on them so they are silver. Okay, so this was 50 euros, not particularly cheap in the charity shop, but it's not, um, it's not old. It's got chipboard on the back. And Rolls is gonna fit that in the bathroom in a minute. We haven't decorated yet, but you'll see it will go well in there. We've got two ornate lights up there, which I need to bling up a little bit. Um, and all this here was two, 250 euros. Okay, so we're in the bathroom. As you can see, <laughs> it's work in progress. We showed you the electrics not so long ago. Uh, so we've got to fill all this and mess around. But uh, the reason we thought we'd show you is because this is the mirror that we've bought. And it's very much in the same style as these two lights that we've got and we actually bought these in um, the UK before we moved to France um, knowing that we'd want this style in our home so we've been looking for something ornate like this um, and this is just perfect it's not a huge mirror but we don't really want a huge mirror in here um, so that's perfect for, really for us isn't it you're happy with that yeah. I'm happy so I'm going to put this up today uh, but Susie's going to show you the wallpaper that we're going to put on here. I think this is the one I'm going to use. We bought loads of paper before we moved to France. Just in case. We didn't know what we were buying then. Um, so that's the paper, the gold. And I haven't got enough to do the whole room, so I'll probably do this wall and then paint some of the rest of it in a blue, powder blue. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Slow, yeah. yeah, I like that. But that's for another day. Yeah. Because obviously we've got to do all this repair we stuff need to first. Put, paint the ceiling and put the clothing up. Yeah, there's a channel up there, um, which is where some more electrics have gone. So the easiest way to hide it is just with coving. But uh, again, that's for another day. But right now, we're going to take this one down. This was left here by the previous owner. Um, although, we put this here, didn't we? Because there was a unit here. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit we, naff, this actually. is coming out. We've got a nice oak unit to go here. And we're going to put bowl in the middle. Uh, we've got a tap, but unfortunately, we can't afford chrome. Um, gold. Gold fitting, so it's chrome. Yeah. And we've got a Victorian shower rail but we haven't bought the bath yet no but anyway so i'm going to put this up now yeah good right i have my center line there from when i put the other mirror up and we've decided on here as the place Right, so 
So the hook is put there. Four centimeters above that point. Right. Perfect. Right, better clear up. Yeah, that looks really nice. I'm pleased with that. Just got to decorate now. Yeah, I need to find, I've got some gold wax, because um, I think these need brightening up a bit. They look a bit dull next to this. So, that's my next job. And here is uh, that oak cabinet that Susie was talking about that's going to go into the bathroom. So we'll have a, a basin in here, in the middle there. Uh, it's a lovely cabinet. It was actually given to us a few years ago by one of Susie's sisters. Um, it had been varnished in the past at some point. And it, it was one of those yellowy sort of orange varnishes and it wasn't very pleasant. So I stripped it all down and revealed all its features and it's beautiful. And there is another piece that goes on the back actually, an ornate piece, uh, so that's in the barn. So we'll put that on uh, and put the basin in here. Uh, one issue we might have, if we sit a basin on top, it may be a bit tall, because this is from the floor, 93 centimetres, and the standard sort of height for a worktop or for a bathroom top is 90. Uh, so it's already three centimetres high. So we could sink it down in and then just make um, make it fit around this drawer so we could still use the sides of the drawer, etc. Um, or the other idea is to cut the bottom of the plinth off. Um, so we'll work that one out, but I think that'll look lovely in the bathroom. Um, so we're looking forward to getting that up there. And I know Susie showed you um some Brocant vines earlier that we had, but this was one that um, we discovered ooh, six weeks ago. And uh, it's just a nice little uh, cruet set. So we've cleaned the glass up, cleaned it up a bit. And that was, I forget what it was now, I think it was about 10 euros, something like that. <laughs> when I press that button I should actually hear the boiler fire up and in 30-35 minutes we should have hot water. What we shouldn't have is this light and there's only one time I've actually seen this light on this boiler and that was last December. It was middle of December. Susie had been in hospital for seven weeks and it was Wednesday and she was due back out of hospital on Friday. And middle of December, like I say, and I hadn't had any heating on during the autumn and the early winter, uh, primarily because I knew when Susie came out of hospital, we'd need the heating on virtually 24 seven. So I was actually trying to save as much of the oil as I could. But two days before she came back, I thought, well, I'd better start warming the house up. Um, Cause I was just sitting there in the evening um, on the city, watched a bit of telly wrapped up, really warm with lots of throws over me. Um, but anyway, it got to the point where I thought, well, I better start warming the house up. Susie's coming home in two weeks, to, uh, two days time. And so I turned it on, came on, radiator started getting warm, and then a couple of hours later, um, I noticed the radiators weren't on. And I came in and this light was on. 
and I tried to reset it, I tried to mess around, nothing. And it packed up basically. Uh, the worry for this, it's 30 years old, a minimum of 30 years old this boiler. And we've already been told you can't get spares anywhere. So I ran up to um, the next village, which is where the boiler people are fortunately, they're only in the next village. And uh, they were really, really good. I explained the situation and they said, no problem, we'll come out. And um, they came out the Friday morning and I was due to collect Susie uh, from the hospital Friday afternoon. And he looked at it, he took it apart and he, he shook his head and he said, and, uh, but he knew the situation. So he was really, really trying hard. And he said, look, I'll have a look in my van. I'll see if I can find anything. And he came in with this little part and he said, this is from a different make of boiler, but hopefully I can make it work. And he fiddled around, messed around, pressed that, and the boiler came on. And I was really, really relieved. Um, you know, Susie had been in the hospital for seven weeks. She's not very good with the cold at the best of times, but uh, she needed warmth. And uh, I honestly don't know what I would have done. Um, but he did say to me, I can't guarantee anything, I don't know how long it'll last. And I said, if it gets me through the winter, I'll be happy. And it did. Um, and we're back in the same situation. So we've got no hot water or no heating. Now the heating's not a problem because we're in August, but it will become a problem. Um, the hot water, we've been going over the road to our friends to have showers and all that sort of thing. So it's not... It's not convenient, but you know, it's the best we can do. And it's very kind of them as well. They said any time. Uh, so the boiler people are coming tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Because we've been quoted silly money to replace this. We know we're gonna have to. We know it's old, it's really old. But like anything, I just wanna eke it out for as long as I can, really, to get some money get it together really um, so hopefully on Wednesday it'll be good news <clears throat> right the first thing we're gonna do is put some preserver on this wooden roller we were yep. gonna do it Saturday but we ran out of time <laughs> um, and we because we had to get all that done in one day because it didn't it, rain. It was the only day last mm. week we didn't get rain, so uh, it was a bit of a panic in the end. So we didn't get time to do it. So that's the yeah. first thing we're going to do. So we need to unwrap this. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's do it. Two people actually suggested we paint the whole chain gold. That'd be pretty impressive, but um, take ages. would take ages and perhaps be considered a little bit over the top, although that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Mm. That's one big gold chain. So let's give this a brush. I could paint the sun on the front of it. Yeah. Oh, I suppose better, aren't they? Get under there. Yeah, this wood's in good condition. This is probably the first time it's had any oil since it was put in here. It might not have had any then. No. <coughs> A couple of times, so you can see the red paint, and then over the years it's faded to this plummy colour. Right, so <coughs> the next thing we want to do is 
the hook. We're going to paint the hook. We've made that decision. Now what we've noticed though, um, when the hook is dangling, it's actually touching this uh, cover. Uh, so we want it suspended in midair. Uh, but so we're going to try and wrap it up a bit better so we end up up here but it may be a bit difficult the weight of it might just turn the roller so we'll we'll wrap it up and hopefully have the hook suspended otherwise it's just going to rub along the bottom here so this way I'll brush it up a bit. No, not right across like that. Well, how then? Just go on, turn it. On top, then, nobody will ever see the hook. You need an S hook or something. Well, we went for the less is more approach on Saturday. So now we're just going for the more approach. <laughs> we could have painted it in plum, as some of you suggested, but the majority of you suggested painting it in gold. It was painted um, red originally. Yeah, it was originally. You can see the red in it, but um, well, we like a bit of bling. I don't think it's quite sharp. I'm just going over a few bits that we did on Saturday, just touching them up. So we've gone over the gold bits that we did on Saturday and we've painted the hook gold and uh, we'll probably give that another coat actually as well. We didn't go with these strips here. Um, some people suggested painting them black or gold but um, we thought we'd stick to the same colour and if we paint it gold then the rivets and the nuts won't stand out. So uh, I'm happy with that. I don't think we're going to paint the chain there. I think that is a bridge <laughs> too far. <laughs> a bit too much bling. Well, not that. It's just there's so much of it. It would take. It, it would take a long time, and I think you know, it's fine. It's what we want, isn't it? It's it's. Unless unless you spray them, of course. Yeah, that but then you easy. you got to spray the wood then. Yeah. So you got to mask it. You know, it's we don't need the chain spraying. It's fine as it is. No, well, you don't do it, but. Um, yeah. So we're quite happy, you so, say. I don't think we're going to paint this rim. I think we're going to leave that as it is. Yeah, I think so. You can have too much, can't you? No. No. You can never have too much. No, you can never have too much bling. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we got the balance right on this one. Yeah. So there you go. Decision made. And thanks for all your comments. Um, thanks for your advice. And thanks for being so nice about it. There was no nasties. Because with a colour like this, you can always... Um, it's a bit you like know. Marmite, isn't it? Yeah, it's, you know, like it or, or not. So, uh, but everybody was very kind and polite. and So that's all you want. So, yep, yeah, there it is. But it is a chateau well, so... It's a chateau well. anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> now, when we were filming Saturday, we noticed a name on the metalwork. So, embossed into the metalwork, it looks like Grusson. So that's presumably the manufacturer of the well. I don't know whether they're local or whether they're a big company. Maybe they had a tremendous reputation for making wells. Uh, but that um, gives us a little something to look at. Um, we'll do a Google search at some point. See if I can get it again. Grusson. So this is our other um, well, and I think we need to paint this handle and the struts and this bit, but I, I wouldn't paint this because this is, I don't know what it, metal it is actually, um, 
It's zinc, going green, zinc so it's or copper, or copper or brass or something. I yeah, don't know. It doesn't work. It's all seized up. But there is water in there. You'll have seen from a previous video. And of course, I'll just grab the handle. So that's how it would have worked. It would have pumped. Yeah. But there's no piston it's in not there now. Connected to anything. Um, but so there's a little bit more painting to do, and of course the railings behind. Yeah, I've got those to do. Susie wants to do those. And I could paint the water dragon's eyes gold. Okay, <laughs> you're just determined, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a job for another time. So we'll get on to that one day. No immediate panic. Well, we've put our paintbrushes away. That's it. We're not touching the well again. Finished. No, you've got to do the other one. Yeah, that, that one. But this one, that's it. That's all the gold and plum that's going on there. <laughs> and thank you for all your suggestions. We did read every one and we've answered every comment. And uh, most people said paint the hook and paint it gold. So we thought, well, we'll go with that. Mm. And I think anything else would have been a bit OTT. Yeah. So there you go. That's yeah. it. No more well updates. Until we've got it working, of course, with some pumps or whatever. But that's uh, we've got plenty of time for that. We don't need to worry about that at this stage. Do we? It's uh, autumn and winter coming soon. Uh, we're really happy with the mirror. Yeah. That uh, When we were at Emu's, we saw <coughs> it and um, weren't quite sure of the size. We thought it might be a bit small. But when we got it here, we were really pleased that it's just the perfect size, really. We didn't want a big mirror. Um, oh, this could get noisy in a minute. The dogs are um, playing up. There's um, in, in the Virginia creeper along the side here. There's um, lots of birds, little birds nesting. It's a family <coughs> of sparrows. Oh, here we go. And um, the dogs are always barking at them, trying to get them. But it's always course, this time of night. Yeah, always this time of night. But they, they they've gone go quiet now. The... The, the birds. So um, it's just Max playing up. But he's always got to be. He's always got to be in our vlog, no matter what, so even from a distance. So if it gets a bit noisy, that's what's going on. Uh, so the mirror. We're happy with the mirror, yeah. aren't we? So we've just got to start uh, decorating that. Um, but the boiler um, may force us to decorate that room because. Um, mm. What we've decided, no matter what happens with the boiler, we're actually going down the water heater route, uh, water tanks or ballons. Over as they the call. bath, well, in the attic, <laughs> over the bathroom. Yeah, um, and that separates it from the boiler, so that should mean we can get a smaller boiler. Um, but that will mean we've got to reroute all the pipe work up to the floor and everything, so that's probably yeah. going to force us to do that bathroom sooner rather than later. But that's good, because we did want to get some stuff, didn't we? Because we've had no hot water for nearly three weeks. Nearly three weeks, yeah, because um, uh, we always thought it was a bit of a myth, uh, France closing down in August, but it really does, because uh, the boiler company have been shut all through, throughout August, and they only opened on Monday. So um, we went in there Monday morning, and they've booked us an appointment for tomorrow, which is Wednesday, so we're hoping he can save it, but uh, I've already explained to you uh, last time, so if not... Hmm. It's a bit of a <coughs> dinosaur. It's... But we have been having a wash. Oh, yeah. We've been going to labour for a shower. <laughs> yeah, they, they just said any time you like, just come over and they're really good as gold, so we've mm. been showering over there. Um, and there's always a cup of, tea, a cup of coffee or a beer or two, so that's, that's worth wandering over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that could be a problem, the boiler, if it condemns it. Mm. Um, hellishly expensive. Hellishly expensive. But um, the next boiler we get will only be doing the heating... Yes. Not the hot water, so yeah, it so might be cheap. Be slightly less to run as well. So yeah. Anyway, we'll worry about that tomorrow when he comes around. I uh, can't do a lot about that in the meantime. <coughs> and on Sunday, we are aiming to have a few updates for you because obviously uh, we do all these things and um, sometimes you don't see them again, like the spice cupboard, for example. Last time you saw it, it was late uh, one Saturday evening. Well, here, yeah, funny enough. Um, I finished it, but uh, you've never seen it in the kitchen with the spices and stuff <laughs> in it. So that's going to come up. Um, we've got one or two other updates for you. So we'll um, do a few updates on the interior and whatever. And I've been mowing up the leaves today. You can see 
behind that was covered. Yeah, and, the but tree. we've had some rain and the grass has come up already. So oh, it's all greened up mm. really quickly. Uh, but the horse chestnut's been shedding its leaves since middle of July. Mm. Um, we're not used to that, are we? In Britain, it would be what late September because it's not had any water. Yes, yeah, just been dry as anything. It's been shedding its leaves and conkers so mm. for a while now. But there you go. So it's... I need to go and have a shower now because I'm covered in dust. Yeah. From the mower. Fair enough. We'll go over the road then. <laughs> Take our wash bag with us. <laughs> uh, like to thank Michelle, Kim, and Brian and Kathy. Um, they've bought us some coffees this week, so thank you. And I know Michelle and Brian and Kathy have uh, bought us coffees before, so it's not the first time. It's very generous of you. Thank you. And uh, a hello to Kim uh, from uh, Melbourne, I think it was uh, certainly Australia. So thank you, Kim. That's very kind of you. And uh, glad you're enjoying all our vlogs. So that's paid for our mirror, actually. Yes, yeah. Which well, I suppose good. it has in that respect, mm. yeah. I hadn't really thought about it that way, but yeah. That was good. Um, not a bad deal, actually, all that stuff, actually. Yeah, it was good. Really good price for all that. Actually, so. the little silver tongs, she threw that in with the mirror, with the didn't mirror. she? Yeah. So the other bits were two yeah, fifty. Two fifty, euro. two years fifty for, mm. for all those, so. That was really good. Yeah. Anyway, we need to shower. Yeah. <laughs> so we shall see you, see you Sunday. Sunday. Bye. 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 Max. Max, the birds have gone to sleep. Max. Yes, you. Leave the birds alone.